two can do. Indeed, I, there's even been a couple players messing around with Kazio recently. I know Dom's been on that wave a little bit, and a couple other players willing to try him out. So this is interesting because in a weird way, these characters have more in, uh, more in common than they have different <laughs> going on. They're both all about getting in. Yeah, even though the trajectory of their projectiles are very different, they both sort of do force that similar zoning game, play them at the mid-range, go in as your opponent tries to shield. Oh, excellent catch there by Chili Chill. Mama Luigi tried to escape in with the Tatsu, but right now they punished for it. Yeah, this is the full effect of Mario on a triplat. That he has those additional landing options, doesn't even need the fireball as much, and yet can still take you from zero to 100 real quick with those up air chains. Yeah, even if, if uh, Chili Chili's Mario has to give up center stage to Mama Luigi, he has so many different like paths to retaking it. Oh, but right now, Mama Luigi trying to forge his own path and getting uppy. That uppy is so flash quick, Bronk. I, I, I feel like most shows are going to struggle to deal with it. Yeah, frame three, the fastest out of shield option in the game, or at least tied for it. Oh! I think Chili just barely survived in that one. Ooh, reverse up smash, well done. It does hit first on the back, so saving himself a couple of frames there might have made all the difference. Yeah, all these pivot tilts and pivot up smashes like that are just so key to practice if you're out there in a mid-level player. I think that has to be a lesson learned for Chili Chili. Oh. Do not go for those fireball commitments because Mama Luigi is willing to bite on those Shoryus. Yeah. A one, two. Ah, oh, but Mama Luigi tried to like just hold steady and pivot, but here comes Chili Chili in the down throw, which unless you DI that perfectly means Mario's gonna take you for a ride. Oh, just short on the F Smash punish, but not letting up the pressure at all. Look at Chili Chili forcing Mama Luigi to just barely move and shield. Even a whiff uppy isn't really that punishing on the stage, but speaking of punishing, that crescent kick. Still hunting through. Chili Chili playing very grounded for a Mario player at high percent. Yeah, not necessarily trying to pressure with like uh, short. Well, I was going to say not using short on back here that much, but there's one. <laughs> oh, excellent catch there by Chili Chili. Good pace switch. Both characters with rage. This is a pivotal moment. Nice, my mom Luigi has to go out deep. He has to try and take the stock in order to make this an even contest. Oh, and I think he wanted that back throw as he rolled around, but just didn't have the angle. Chili at ledge. Oh, he crouched to avoid getting carried by the Tatsu? That was weird. Interesting. I thought crouch cancel didn't exist in this game. <laughs> Look at the, oh, the patience with Chili getting turned in the back air. And he adds a second one just to get the job done. Yeah, that is the issue, simple from Mama Luigi, but still a stock down. But still, Chili Chili's gonna take this kind of setup and advantage any game. Up a full stock. And this is just hard for the Shotos. Like, they're not always, I mean like, they have the explosive advantage state game to make the comebacks happen, but it can feel like it's so far away if you're just not able to get in ever. Oh, there's that double oh! up and affair from Chili Chili. Alabama or SoCal, he'll victimize anyone. That's the Alabama Slammer, baby. <laughs> Gosh. Mama Luigi. I, I was talking about explosive advantage state games for uh, Mama Luigi and, and Ken during that whole set, but Chili just going, just going like, oh, yeah, Mario can win a game in three hits. Yes. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, some people have lovingly referred to it as the Bing Bing Wahoo, and I think right there... <laughs> It's perhaps what? <laughs> not so lovingly for Mama Luigi, but... Uh, Whoever he, coined that, stop! Yes. <laughs> uh, he's, you know, I think a lot of people have just... You don't expect that from Mario, because he's Mario. He's known for that... Okay, he's a very good neutral, and he will frequently get kills at 110%. He'll yeah, basically, like Ma there are Mario games that just leave you speechless, bro. That's, that's, yes. that's, that's the sort of it. Oh my gosh, here we go. Going on the right, nice use of the focus by Mama Luigi to get out of there. But still taking like 80 on that to get up to 95. Ugh. Yeah, see, Mama Luigi is just trying to spend so much time trying to guess at what Chili Chili's gonna do next. Yeah. Oh. That, co that combo breaking escape by Chili Chili almost turned into a very bad situation for him, but Mama Luigi able to capitalize it. Excellent. 
Uh, uh, Upstart there from Chili Chili. Yeah. And we've been noticing him using the focus a couple times. I think he just doesn't want to repeat of how that last game ended. Exactly. Oh, Chili Chili catching, or uh, getting caught, just going a little too close up on plat, but. Man, and that's the thing is that Chili Chili, it, when he's getting hit, he's cleaning up after himself so well to make sure that Mama Luigi's not able to get the fullest optimized uh, punish out of it. Yeah, as a reminder, this is Mama Luigi's counterpick opted to go back to Battlefield. So you are affording Mario that opportunity once again. Yeah, that could be a possible question in terms of just giving Mario triplax. Oof. But we haven't seen Chili Chili use, and that's the thing, we haven't seen Chili Chili use down air to full extent yet. And there we go by Mama Luigi. Now, as they did, oh my gosh, and Chili Chili immediately descending from Angel Platform. You have to be so careful about what you do as a player when you finally take a stop from your opponent and they're on Angel Plat. Facing back once again, he wants either that back row or the reverse up smash. One of the two options, either will suffice. Oh my gosh, and again, that pivot up smash just being wielded with such ac deadly accuracy by Chili Chili. Works to that up special, but only uh, a single up air just doesn't convert off of it. Yeah, this. It's interesting, like, Chili Chili is, like, content to, like, take this game vertically and draw out Mama Luigi to the to the, the edges of the stage. But Mama Luigi can't just sit there and start pressuring Chili Chili with his weapon, with, with his toolkit. And Chili Chili is just denying him at every opportunity. I mean, when you're getting that much out of Advantage State, you can afford to stalemate the rest. Oh, jab lock! Oh, man! Oh, I, I love that sequence there by Chili Chili, pulling out some of the deep cuts there for Mario's punish game. Focuses through that back air again, finds the grab, waits for the option. Wow, and it's not an ability for Mama Luigi to even get off the ledge. Finally forcing his way into center stage. Uh oh, that might have been a short you missed input, but Chili is not able to punish him for it. Big tree for Mama Luigi, this can be really key for the show domain. Can he get in? Ah, oh, as soon as he moves in, Chili Chili didn't blink. Up smash, game over in an instant. Yeah, there's the downside to using all those focuses and disadvantage. You're still sponging up all the damage, meanwhile, or at least part of it. So at that same time, you know, you may not be getting those spikes off 